This guide shows you how to sign up for, download and install Zoom. Now Zoom is a popular cloud-based video conferencing application mainly used for businesses to hold remote meetings. It's quite handy at times when you can't all collaborate. So this guide shows you, like I say, how to sign up for the free version of Zoom and how to install the software. First of all, you need to open your web browser. Now I'd say open any browser on a PC with the exception of Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is old, outdated, not secure and won't be able to keep up with modern day technology. So what I would suggest is, is either open up Google Chrome, Firefox or Microsoft Edge. Now I'm going to open up my favourite browser which is Google Chrome. Let's open it up by double clicking on the icon on the desktop now. Incidentally if you're using a phone or a tablet you can download and install Zoom by going to your phone or tablet's app store i.e. if it's an Apple device then go to the Apple App Store or if it's an Android based device i.e. a LG, Samsung phone, a OnePlus phone etc then go to the Google Play Store and search for Zoom. So getting back to the PC move your mouse up to the address bar right at the very top of the screen and click in it and then if there's anything in there press the delete or backspace key on your keyboard to get rid of it and then type zoom.us then press enter or return on your keyboard if you get the privacy policy come up then it's up to you you can view the cookie settings or you can just move your mouse over agree and proceed and left click once i'm sure zoom wouldn't uh, do you out of anything so i'm sure it's okay to agree and proceed then move your mouse over close and left click once to close that then move your mouse up to the top right hand corner here and click sign up it's free that's a left click by the way now for verification you need to confirm your date of birth so click on the drop downs and select your date of birth there we go and then click continue to continue and then it asks for your work email address so type in your work's email address or you can sign in with SSO, Google or sign in with Facebook if you have any of those accounts. Now I'm going to type in my email address but I'll cover this up for security reasons. And once you've typed it in, move your mouse over sign up and left click once. OK, so it now says we'd like to help you get the most out of Zoom by sending your resources along the way. You can unsubscribe at any time. So you can click continue here or if you don't want to have um, email sent to you, then you can go to set preferences here and you can say, right, I want emails once a week, once a month or unsubscribe me entirely. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to click submit and there we go so I'm just going to click on the cross just to the right of set your preferences there to close that page down and the next thing we need to do is we need to log into our emails and find an email from Zoom so I'm just going to do that and there we go I've found the email from Zoom so I move my mouse over activate account and then left click once and here we go, it's now asking us for our first name, last name and to set up a password. So let's just do this. And it says the password must have at least eight characters, must have at least one letter, i.e. ABC, one number, i.e. one, two, three, include both uppercase and lowercase characters. So let's just do, let's just make something up. There we go, just type something in there. And I'm just gonna scroll down. And then it's asked me to confirm the password in the lower box. So let's just do that. That's confirmed. And then I move my mouse over continue and left click once. And now it's given us the opportunity to invite some colleagues. So if you wanted to invite other people to Zoom, you can type their email addresses in the boxes provided. There's three there provided. If you need to add any more, then click on add another email. And then once you've typed in all the email addresses of people you want to invite to Zoom, move your mouse over invite and left click once. I'm going to skip this step for the moment. So I'm going to move my mouse over, skip this step and left click once. And it's given us a personal meeting URL which we can give to other people. Now, other people that you want to join the meeting don't necessarily have to have a Zoom account on here. You can just give them the, uh, the address that's under meeting URL and uh, 
then click start meeting now and then wait for people to click on that URL and, and, and then they can uh, join the meeting. So it's now installing or downloading the Zoom client. I can see there in the bottom left hand corner, we've got this Zoom file here. So I move my mouse over this and left click once and hopefully Zoom should start installing. There you go. So it says the Zoom client you're installing will shorten the time it takes to join a meeting. And then it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says there, Zoom Video Communications Inc. and the verified publisher is the same, then move your mouse over yes and left click once. So it says to use Zoom, you need to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Now, if you want to read the terms of service and the privacy policy, you can click on those words there and it will show you those. Once you're happy with them, then move your mouse over I agree and left click once. Obviously, if you're not happy, click I disagree. So now it's asking us to uh, join with computer audio. So let's just click that. And I guess if you've got a webcam attached, which unfortunately I haven't, it would ask you whether you wanted to connect with a webcam as well. So there we go. So uh, that's how to sign up and set it up. But if you wanted to set it up and you'd already got a Zoom account, but you just wanted to set the software up, this now is how you do that. So what you do is you'd open up your browser, like I say, once again, any browser apart from Internet Explorer. I'm going to open Google Chrome. Then when Google Chrome's loaded, click in the address bar right at the very top of the screen and press the delete or backspace key just to delete out anything that's in there and type zoom.us forward slash download. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. If you get this message here, then you can obviously view the cookie settings if you wish, or you can just move your mouse over agree and proceed and left click once, and then move your mouse over close and left click once. Now what you're looking for is the Zoom client for meetings. So there we go. So we move our mouse over download beneath the Zoom client for meetings and left click once. And you'll notice if you're using Google Chrome or the new Microsoft Edge, that in the bottom left hand corner of the screen zoom installer will appear if you're using firefox then you'll notice after clicking download you'll get this you have chosen to open zoom installer move your mouse over save file left click once and it will appear up here in the top right hand corner so left click this arrow here and then move your mouse over zoom installer and left click once or if you're using google chrome like i am move your mouse over zoom installer in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and left click once and there we go, Zoom installer will start to initialize and start installing. Now this bit might take a bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. And the installing box disappears and then Zoom will load. So you can either join a meeting there if you've already got a, uh, an address for a meeting. So you can enter the meeting ID or personal link name. Or if you've got your own sign in details then you can click sign in and sign in with whatever method you signed up with. So there you go. That showed you how to sign up for Zoom and download and install the software. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.